I had the highest hopes for Call of Duty World War II. I still do. And I did say it was truly a great game. I meant that a little bit more towards the campaign. I wish I had worded that a little bit differently at the time. I also said a few months ago it had a chance to crack my top 5 in Call of Duty games. Campaign wise, I think it came close. It's up there. I only had two small problems with the campaign. I'm going to save that for another video because this video is about the multiplayer and the amount of things that have went wrong since the launch. I wanted to start out with this. The glitches on some of the maps are insane. What you are seeing is one of the main glitches on the map Point de Hawk. It might as well be classified as a type of god mode. It is extremely easy. All you have to do is jump on these panels and eventually you will be able to go inside three rocks on this hill. It will make you immortal. I dropped a glide bomb on myself and artillery as you will see in a moment. And I just dusted myself off. I was fine. Nothing happened. You can also shoot when you are inside of any of the rocks and kill other players. They can shoot at you but that is pointless. Unless part of your body is sticking out a little bit, there is nothing they can do to counter this. As long as you are inside of one of the groups of rocks, you cannot die. Things like this, if they are not patched, can completely ruin a game. And this just adds to the list of issues there have been in Call of Duty World War II's multiplayer. Now, I just want to thank Tyson for showing this to me. I ran into him a few days ago when he was up there. I looked around wondering where the hell he was at for about 20 seconds, saw him, then I roasted his ass with a flamethrower, but still, he was kind enough to show me how to get up there, and then we both figured out that you can't die in certain spots. But without question, this proves that Sledgehammer rushed this game out the door. There is no way you can tell me that something as simple as this could happen if this game was completed in a timely manner. I'm going to tell you right now, this completely ruins this map if people start doing this all the time. And with ranked games coming on December 1st, I don't see how they can offer this map if this is not patched by then. And that was the one thing I was looking forward to was the ranked games to see if I could crack the top 100 on Xbox One. But with all the issues in the multiplayer between the glitches, the quick scoping with people missing by 10 feet and still getting the kill, the score streaks absolutely sucking, and only having nine maps. And let's not forget about being unable to edit your classes during pre-games or being frozen at a black screen or having to restart your game because of that. And the connection issues when they took away the dedicated servers for a while. I had to ask myself, is it worth playing until they fixed some of that? And keep in mind, they pumped up this game so much I know people personally that called in sick that night or for the next day for work at the launch for this game. Even people that did not play games at all bought it or went over to a friend's house to go play it at 11 o'clock at night and was going to stay to play until 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. And they weren't even able to play it until 4 hours went by because nobody was prepared for the servers to be overloaded? This game was rushed and unprepared multiplayer wise. I think the multiplayer still has a chance to be good. There is a few things I like about it, but they have to fix the simple things like the sniping which is just out of control. It wasn't like this the first week, but the quick scoping is way too common and overpowered now. The score streaks need to be buffed up, the connection issues and glitches need to be fixed, and it better happen soon because people are getting sick of it. Last night, I looked on Amazon, and this game was rated 2.9 out of 5 stars. The lowest rating I have ever seen on a Call of Duty game, besides the Xbox 360 version of Black Ops 3. Anyways, I'm going to do a review on the campaign soon, which I was very happy with. Hang in there as far as the multiplayer goes, because they will have to do something at some point. And regardless of all this in the multiplayer... It still beats playing any of the futuristic multiplayers we have experienced in the last five years. I would rather play any World War II game over any of that bunny hopping bullshit, but hey, that's just me. But that just about does it for this video. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Peace.